Is there such thing as a official KDE laptop? Well, not quite, but we're actually pretty close to that. So if you go to kdi.org and you go to buy a device with Plasma, you do get a list of devices running KDE Plasma, starting obviously with the Steam Deck, because I mean, it's such a cool device, isn't it? But of course the Steam Deck is not made, made by KDE and unluckily no laptop or device is made by KDE. I would love to see some part of the community of KDE actually make some hardware, like official KDE hardware made by KDE community itself. That would be super cool, but of course that's pretty hard. I tried to find some people to start such community. I haven't managed yet, but we get close nonetheless. So KD does have ties with hardware manufa manufacturers, uh, which do Linux devices. And Pine is a really good example, but one that seems even closer to KD is the KD Slimbook, which is actually has the KD log on it and it's called the KD Slimbook. So it has KD in the name. And this comes out of a pretty close re relationship with Slimbook and KD. Pine also has a KD edition for many of their devices, starting with the Pine phone, obviously, but also the first Pine book um, shipped with a KDE, KDE Neon, sorry, by default, out of the box. There's also, fewer people know about this one, the Kubuntu Focus, and I should talk about this specifically because it's an interesting project. It is a company, a hardware manufacturer, company that actually contacted Kubuntu to do an official Kubuntu laptop. And you might say, okay, but Kubuntu is not part of KDE, so it's not a KDE laptop. And the fact is that Kubuntu is part of KDE, and uh, wh why shouldn't they be? They are actually involved in the KDE community, they are part of it, and if, they, if you go and ask the Kubuntu developers, do you think you're part of the KD community? They say yes, so they are. So Kubuntu is, the Kubuntu Focus, sorry, is probably a laptop that's uh, somewhat uh, a KD laptop because it's a Kubuntu laptop and Kubuntu is part of the KD community. Now, there are other smaller projects. As an example, KDE does have a good relationship with uh, shells, and, uh, but that's not technically any device, but you can run KDE on your browser. Also, Star Labs, Tuxedo. I do have a Starlight here in the picture, so I'm gonna tell you how it actually runs, but the most important ones are the KDE Slimbook, the Pine Phone and Pine Book, and the Kubuntu Focus M2. The Slimbook uh, comes with a, a Ryzen, which is pretty interesting. Most of the laptops I see around are usually Intels. And even from the web page, you can really feel that it's very much a KDE product. Even the web page, even though it's not like KDE.org, but it's part of the Slimbook website, is styled just as a KDE uh, website and has the KDE logo and all of the style is the KDE style. Even the tabs here on the bottom are a recreation of the actual tabs that you do see in the task manager of KDE Plasma. They use the KDE Plasma style breeze by default. So it really feels like this is a KDE product. Of course, this comes with KDE Plasma pre-installed. I, th I think you guessed. Another very, very important point about the KDE Slimbooks is that Slimbook has actually been very active in refreshing the line and this is actually the third edition of the Slimbooks. Uh, it's not quite every year, some years have been skipped, but it's pretty regular so we might see a new sl Slimbook refresh every one, two years in the future. So that's very good for how uh, the future is looking for KDE. Harder. The Kubuntu one is also at its uh, second edition. It says Gen 4 here. Uh, could be that I missed a couple, but as far as I know, this was the second product. This is very, very high spec and, of course, very, very, very hard to price. I don't think I'll ever be able to actually see one of these live, but if you need a kind of work that's very high-end, you might be interested in this kind of project. However, 
when I see these kind of laptops, I always think that if we want something with a Linux and the KD logo on it to reach a wider public, maybe it could be uh, easier or it would make more sense to actually do laptops that are uh, slightly more lower end and that people can buy more easily because if you're planning to buy, to spend like two grants on a laptop, you probably want something so spec up that you know what kind of companies provide the best value for price. And even if you buy a super spec uh, uh, Linux, um, sorry, a Dell XPS, super high spec, you can probably, you probably have the knowledge to then put Linux on it if you know if you like Linux and you know that you're going to spend that much so for the everyday users probably something cheaper is an easier way to actually reach the public so I'm not completely sold on this particular concept it's also the laptop that I've seen less news of that I've seen less um, shared around so that could be uh, related to the fact that it's two grants that's a lot Thirdly, the Pine in general is probably the company that I know the best in terms of products. I actually own three different Pine products. The first one that I got is the first Pine book, which I absolutely love. And fun fact, it, almost, it also got, helped me a lot get uh, involved in KDE. When I originally started contributing to KDE, one of the very the uh, very first things that I did was actually do a goal proposal. And if you don't know what goals are, check out my recent videos, you'll find out something very cool today. And I actually wrote the entirety of that goal on the Pine book. And then I forgot about it for a while. I brought it back uh, some months ago and I used it for main the computer to actually bring to university to study because my main one hadn't enough battery. And even though it was a $99, actually $89 device, it was amazing. Like not of course better than something that costs a lot more, but for the price, I was blown away. So I really, really liked that hardware. The PinePhone and the PinePhone Pro, I own both of them, are super interesting uh, devices that I haven't been able to use as much as I wanted and that's actually on me completely. I do plan to take the Fine PinePhone Pro and actually daily use it for a while and uh, the good thing about this is that Plasma Shell is actually getting really good and there's also the whole side of Waydroid integration that I tried out and it works really well. So we could be getting really close to something that's actually daily usable. And I gotta say that actually owning the PinePhone with the KD logo on it, having a phone with the KD logo on it, it feels so cool. So this is a general overview of the hardware that actually has the KD logo or name on it or the Kubuntu logo, which is part of the KD brand. So which one of these would you actually buy or would you actually be interested in like a KD laptop done by the KD community? Because even though it sounds cool, actually having hardware manufacturers that know very well how to do this and then having very good relationship with them seem to be working super well. So I don't know, 